In today's episode, you will learn how to use the SSD1306 or SH1106 0.96 inch OLED I2C 128x64 display module with Arduino. In this episode, I will cover the extreme basics like for example, number one, OLED interfacing with Arduino, number two, how to fix some common issues. Number three, how to select a proper library. Number four, how to use the basic OLED functions. Number five, how to print text messages and numbers. Number six, how to draw different shapes. And finally, number seven, how to make over the station using DHT11 sensor and display the temperature and humidity values on the OLED display. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this video can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is a monocolor 0.96 inch with 128 by 64 pixels OLED I2C display module. OLED stands for Organic Light Emitting Diode. There are two different models of the same OLED display module which are SSD1306 and SH1106. Only by looking at the OLED display it's really hard to tell whether this is an SSD1306 or SH1106 model, which I will tell you in a minute how to find this. Unlike the 16 into 2 liquid crystal display module, the OLED display does not require backlight, which results in a very nice contrast and moreover the OLED display consumes less power when compared with other displays. There are other types of the OLED display modules which are available in different shapes and sizes. Some are using I2C communication protocol. There are also other OLED displays that support the SPI communication. But in this tutorial, I will only focus on the OLED display module that support I2C communication. This OLED display module can be powered up using 3.325 volts, due to which it can be easily used with 3.3 volts supported controller boards like Node MCU, ESP8266 Wi-Fi module, ESP32, etc., and 5 volts supported controller boards like Arduino Uno, Arduino Mega, Arduino Nano, and so on. This display module has a total of four male headers which are clearly labeled as VCC, Ground, SCL and SDA. This small resistor is the I2C address selector. Currently the I2C address is the 0x78 but if you remove this resistor and solder it on the other side then the I2C address will be 0x78. But there are situations when both the I2C addresses are not working. So when you end up in a situation like this, you will need to use the I2C scanner, which I will explain in the programming section. So now let's have a look at the circuit diagram. As you can see, the circuit diagram is really simple. The VCC and ground pins of the 128 by 64 OLED display module are connected with the Arduino's 5 volts and ground, while the SCL and SDA pins of the OLED display are connected with the Arduino's analog pins A5 and A4, which are the I2C pins. If you are using Arduino Mega, then connect these pins with 20 and 21. 20 is the SDA, while 21 is the SCL. I interfaced my 128 by 64 I2C OLED display with Arduino as per the circuit diagram already explained. 
To control this OLED display, we will need to install the correct libraries. First, I'm going to start with the Adafruit SSD1306 and the Adafruit GFX libraries. And let's see if I can control this OLED display module using these libraries. Follow the same exact steps. As you can see, I have already installed the libraries. So after installing the necessary libraries, click on the file menu and open the SSD1306 underscore 128 by 64 underscore I2C program. This is such a long code and I'm not going to explain this program because for now my only focus is on how to successfully run my OLED display module. As you know the type of the OLED display module I'm using right now has no reset pin so I can delete this line of code and I'm going to replace the OLED reset with minus one. The screen width and screen height are OK. My OLED display module I2C address is 0x78. Now I can upload this program. As you can see, the OLED display module is not showing anything. This issue may be due to two reasons. Maybe the I2C address is wrong or maybe we are using a wrong library. So first, let's confirm the I2C address. For this, I'll be using the I2C address scanner. You can download this program from our website. So as you can see, the I2C address is 0x3C. Let's again upload this program. As you can see, the OLED is working, but still it has got some issues which are due to the wrong library I am using. So by replacing the library, we can easily fix this issue. I have already downloaded another library which is available on my website. Simply open the sketch. As you can see, this time I'm using the Adafruit SH1106 library. Check the I2C address. Everything looks good and now I can upload this program. As you can see, now the OLED display module is working perfectly. The 
these are some basic functions that will help you handle the OLED display library to write text or draw symbol graphics. All pixels are off. Plot a pixel in the XY coordinates. Set the font size supports sizes from 1 to 8. Set the coordinates to start writing text. Print the characters at location XY. Call this method for the changes to make effect. This is the simple Hello World example code which you can download from our website electronicclinic.com. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. The purpose of this program is to draw pixels, lines and shapes. This program is available on my website electronicclinic.com. You can find a link in the description. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this in action. Now we will make the weather station using the THT11 temperature and humidity module. The 128 by 64 OLED I2C display module connections with the Arduino Uno board remain the same. This time I added the THT11 temperature and humidity module with the digital pin 2 of the Arduino while the power supply pins of the THT11 sensor are connected with the Arduino's 5 volts and ground. The purpose of this program is to print the temperature and humidity values on the 128 by 64 OLED I2C display module. All the circuit diagrams, libraries and programs can be downloaded from our website electronicclinic.com. You can find a link in the description. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.